welcome to my channel in this video i will show how to install and configure apache server in ubuntu server apache is an open source web server that's available for linux servers for free in this tutorial we will be going through the steps of install and setting up an apache server let's start by installing latest meta package of apache to web server open a new terminal and type this command sudo apt update Okay, now install Apache 2 with this command. Okay, now type Y to continue installation. Now all required packages are installed and we can test it out by typing in our IP address from the web server. Open a web browser. And type localhost if you see the page like this it means that apache has been successfully installed on your server let's create your own website by default apache comes with a basic site enabled we can modify its content in var www subfolders or setting by editing its virtual <coughs> var www html subdirectory or settings by editing its virtual host file found in a tc apache 2 sites enabled site enabled 
triple zero default dot configuration file. Okay. We can modify how Apache handle incoming request and have multiple sites running on the same server by editing its virtual host file. We are going to leave the default Apache virtual host configuration pointing to www.example.com and set up our own at gci.example.com Let's start by creating a folder for our new website in var www subfolder. So use this command to create a new directory inside www folder ok mk dir dash p var www and enter the folder name c and enter the folder name gci slash hit enter enter password okay now navigate to gci subdirectory okay let's have an html file in it go into gci subdirectory by cd command like this and use a text editor my case nano index.html hit enter and type the code in html file html Okay, now save this file. Error or writing index.html permission denied. So copy this control exit. Okay, now open the index.html file with sudo privilege and paste here now save this file ok Okay, now let's create a virtual host file. So it will show up when we type in 
gcixample.com we start this step by going into the configuration files directory by cd command cd apache2 sites available Okay. Since Apache come with a default virtual host file, let's use that as a base with this command sudo cp default gci dot configuration file hit enter enter password. Okay, now edit the configuration files. sudo nano. Okay. We should have our email in server admin so that users can reach in case Apache experience any error. server admin here enter your email address Okay. We also want the document root directive to point the directory our sites files are hosted on. So change this with GCI slash. Okay. Now add and define a server name directive. Here server name gci dot example dot com okay go to browser and ensure that people reach the right site instead of the default one when they type in gci.example.com now that we are done configuring our site let's save and activate it in the next step after setting up our website we need to activate the virtual host configuration file to enable it so type the command sudo I to insight configuration file you should see the following output and also disable the configuration file default configuration file okay now 
set the right permission for the owner to the CGI subdirectory. So type this command. Okay, hit enter and also type this command. Okay, now reload the Apache to server. Okay, and reload and see. That's it. If you like this video, give a like for this video, comment and share. Thank you so much for watching this video.